hope you do tomorrow too. But sometimes it's just as important to make a video about what doesn't work as it is as, as what does work. And so what I'll do is do before I take this apart, make a quick short update. Again, if you hadn't been watching Mr. Angus Wang, this he he he's pretty much the uh, the discoverer of this effect and. Uh, so, you know, watching his updates is pretty much key because, you know, it keeps him from doing the same things over and over and over. And uh, he's found quite a bit about, you know, his configuration. And so I wanted to go off and try some different things. This is how a, uh, a wind generator are actually, actually wound. Uh, they, they use a couple of different configurations. This is called the serpentine coil. And uh, actually what it mounts to is a... You take the wire and, and make a, an individual, you know, a, a coil that goes around that, that the magnet passes across simultaneously several times at once. And then you do several of these and make several phases of current. Now, as far as the amount of electricity for copper, this is really, really efficient. This, this copper that's on this right here is, is the same amount that came off of that roll that we had. So, and for that, for that purpose, it actually makes a lot more amperage, you know, almost an amp out of one coil there, that's just that one, just one of the four. And of course, we have a short, uh, a low voltage, but that's voltage on the load too, so that's a lot better than it was. At any rate, the Angus effect does not show up, which is, you know, the decrease in uh, input load. It's, you know, is what we've been getting a decrease in input when we put a load on the wheel it decreases the input in the drive motor and we can't get that effect with this, this, this type of coil situation I have had to look into to see why I think that is but uh, you know a lot of people have a lot of different suggestions I'm sure uh, so what I'm going to do is take this apart oh no is it running right there take this apart and uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to mount separate coils on, you know, individual coils at these positions. And another thing I did try was uh, I put, you know, to see iron cores in it now. I tried aluminum cores in there and, uh, and I also tried it with no core in it at all. And uh, it actually had no effect on output either way. It made just as much electricity with no core in it as it does with the iron cores in it. And of course with the iron in it, it has much more uh, resistance and, and increases input to our drive. So I'll be trying these next without any, any iron or aluminum extra resistance and then in individual coil packs. So I just thought I'd make an update video so nobody goes down the wrong path. It's kind of what we're doing here. Mr. Angus is pretty much in the lead on this, so we're kind of keeping up, you know, trying different things. And having said that, peace and love. Big ol' heads up.